Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This Amen. is the day the Lord has made, yes. and of course, we are rejoicing and glad in it. Praise God. Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords, and He is King of Kings. Glory to God. Amen. And we're excited about that. You've been with us today. Praise God. And I'm going to have my wife for a moment. Uh, she's going to get ready to read a good scripture for you in the book of Numbers, chapter number 23 and verse 19, while I get my eyeglasses. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Well, we just praise and thank God for you joining us this morning. We're thanking everyone who's coming on <laughs> early this morning to be at the feet of Jesus. We just love him so much because he cares and he gives to us daily. So therefore, we can give to him daily also. So, But, but um, as Apostle was saying this morning, you know, this is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it because it is the goodness of God that, that we get our strength we get, we, get, we get life, we get vitality in Him. So we just praise and thank God for that this morning. And um, we're going to be talking about keeping your dreams alive. How to keep your dreams alive in a situation that we're going through in this world today. But we're just go he's, going to go he's going to let us know on how we can keep it alive. In Numbers 23 and verse 19 it says, And God is not a man that he should lie, neither the Son of Man that he should repent. He hath said, and he shall not do it, or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Amen. Praise God. And, and what that's talking about is that when you have a dream, and maybe you could probably put it on yours, and make, it may come through on yours. Okay. Huh? And uh, when, in other words, when you have a dream, God, when, and God puts a dream in your heart, yes. I want you to know that God's got great things in store. Yes, he does. And the whole goal is to keep it alive. You know, this morning... You know, a lot of time in the morning, I kind of look for God to, you know, give me a word or something he wants me to share with the people. Uh -huh. And uh, so this morning, I said, Lord, right now, at this point, I've not got a word from y'all. I don't really have anything from you right now. But then God put in my heart, you know, I, I, I got on my phone. Thank and, you, and, I, and, I, and on my phone, I have a picture of me in my, uh, in my dream car, my Rolls Royce. Ah. And the Lord, <laughs> the Lord put in my heart, keep your dream alive. Keep it alive. Amen. Meaning this, that whatever dream that God has put in your heart, no matter how impossible or difficult it may look, keep your dream alive. Praise, Praise God. God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So uh, we're trying to see, hmm. uh, for some reason it's not coming on, on, on the deal there, so let me check and see uh, what's it's, going it's on there. It's on there. Amen. But it's just, it's, we're just not getting it on mine. Praise God, because uh, we should have it on by now. Oh well, what we're God. doing is we're trying to do it where you can see Craig Ministries uh, uh, clearly back there. Praise God. Yeah. It's not looking backwards. Or if not that, we want to see your comments. So that's what we're yeah. basically looking for, the comments, because our camera's turned backwards. So it's going to be all right. It's so going to be gonna good. Go Amen. Amen. Praise <laughs> God. Go ahead and try to put it on mine again and see what happens there. And, uh, and thank God for all of you that are on. Uh, we're just trying a couple of things to do something a little different here. And mm -hmm. But uh, again, thank God for you that are on this morning. Praise God. Well, Thank let me you. just make sure that we are on, and just to make sure of some things there, because, um, yeah, uh, okay, I see all of you that are on, you're definitely on, Mia, praise God, all of you that are on, praise God, so we're, we're working this thing out, we're going to make it happen, praise God. Unless it's probably just a little bit slow. Yeah, it's sometimes a little bit slow, but thank God for all of you that are on. And I thank God my wife, she's on with us, praise God, this morning, praise the name of Jesus. So now, this is the whole thing. I woke up this morning. As I woke up, I said, God, I said, up to this point, I don't really have anything in my spirit right now. Mm -hmm. and, and then, uh, on, but on my phone, you know, how you many times have your dream, mm -hmm. your dream a house, your dream car on your car, on your walls, and or wherever that. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I saw that, and God says, this is the word. Yes. Because right now, a lot of people's dreams are being... Uh, I buried because of the situation that's happening with the coronavirus, mm -hmm. people losing their jobs, you know, people getting laid off and things like that, <clears throat> and people not really understanding exactly <laughs> what they're having to deal with right now. Yes. And Allah put in my heart, he, I, that came up all of a sudden, he said, no, he said, keep your dream alive. Keep it alive. No matter yeah, what yeah. dream that God has put in your heart, keep your dream alive. And that's why my wife read that scripture about that God is not a man that he should lie. That's right. And no matter what's going on in the earth today, in the world today, it's not enough to bury the dream Praise that God, God has put in your heart. Yes. Amen. Amen. And so, um, uh, 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 so notice the book of Jeremiah now, chapter number one and verse number four. Let's read that together. 
Jeremiah 1, 4, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Mm -hmm. And before thou cameth forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet to the nation. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Hallelujah. In other words, what God is saying, don't let the circumstances talk you out of your dream. Amen. Don't let your age talk you out of your dream. Mm -hmm. Because Jeremiah is saying, you know, look, but I'm just a young man. Or you may say, I'm kind of old. Are you a father? And God says, no, look, mm -hmm. that everything that you need to fulfill your, your destiny, mm -hmm. I put inside of you. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's no... Uh, a crisis that can happen or no setbacks that can happen, no obstacles can happen that can stop your dream, mm -hmm. keep your dream mm -hmm. alive. And, and so he, God said, because before I formed you, I put in you everything I was going to need. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's not like God said, I was alpha, I am alpha and I'm omega, I'm the beginning and the ending. He says, so look here. He said, I already knew everything. So there's nothing that you're going that you're going through. There's nothing that's happening on the earth right now that you are not already equipped to, to, to win over. Mm. Keep your dream alive. Amen. And then notice in the book of um, uh -huh. okay, notice in, also in the book of Ephesians chapter number three and, and verse, verse number twenty. Amen. Praise God. So we we can't let the the, the uh, circumstances or talk to talk us out of our dreams because we, we go through things in our lives and circumstances come up mm -hmm. and you say, ah, oh, forget it. Because, yes. I mean, uh, most of us, including myself, I yes. say, including myself, <laughs> I've been wanting to throw in the towel my own self. It's yeah. like, forget this. It's not working. Yeah, it yeah. ain't what God told me to do, but I'm going to go ahead and just not let the temporary setbacks put me back. Amen. So in, in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, it says, Now unto him that is able mm -hmm. to do exceeding abundantly and above all that we ask or think according to the power that's working inside of us. Amen. Isn't that a blessing? Isn't that a <laughs> yes, blessing? Yes, amen. And, and, so, and so what the Spirit of God is saying is this, uh -huh. that, that it's not about you and me anyway. Okay. It's not about our ability. Yes. It's not about the, 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 the economy or what's going on in the economy. My God. God wants us to know that He is able, he glory is. to God, to do exceeding abundantly and above all you and I can ask that's or right. think, how? According, According to, to the power that's working work <laughs> in us, not the power of the, of, of, of the state you live, not the power of your job, not the power of the nation, or not the power of all the obstacles that's going on right now in the world, but according to the power mm. that's working in you. You yeah. are equipped. Yes, you but are. But you listen now, but you gotta live from the inside out. Yes. You you, you gotta you gotta live from the inside out and not the outside in. Uh -huh. Don't let what's happening on the outside convince you of, of, of what That's you cannot do from the inside. Praise God. You got to live from the inside. The purpose of God and the plan of God is on the inside. Mm -hmm. and, and the outside is just the effects. Mm. Inside is the mm -hmm. cause. So you keep your, your dream alive knowing that God is able mm -hmm. God, Thank you, to Father. do exceeding even in the midst of what's going on right now in the earth. Even in the midst of the layoffs and setbacks and obstacles that's going on right now, God is still able yes, to is. do exceeding abundant and above all we can ask or think. How? According, According to the to power that's working in us. So yes. therefore, don't bury your dream. Amen. Keep it alive. Uh, amen. And that's right. <laughs> I, 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 don't allow the current situation mm. to, to, to get you discouraged or, uh, and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to dig. My God. Again, because I'm, uh, I'm, we're going to show you a scripture mm -hmm. that, uh, and, and, I, and, and we talked about the scripture yesterday about how when there was a famine in the land, yeah. how Isaac uh, 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 sold in that land, yes, he did. and the Bible said God blessed him and brought him to a great level of prosperity. Mm -hmm. But then we're going to read, my wife's going to read this scripture, but she's going to show you here that, that right after that happened, the, the Philistines, out of envy and jealousy, went and stopped up the whales. My God. And the devil will try to stop up your well. Mm. He'll try to stop what God is doing in your life. But you got to learn how to dig again. So, Come on. so begin to read that. Uh, Genesis. There, Genesis 26 and verse 18. Amen. And Isaac digged again the wells of water, mm -hmm. and they had digged in the days of Abraham, that they had digged in the days of Abraham, his father. For the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham, and he called their names after the names by which his father had called them. And Isaac's servants digged in the valley and found there a well 
of spring water. Hallelujah. Isn't that a blessing? <laughs> so sometimes when we dig again, Come on. glory to God, Amen. and when we don't allow what people that are envious of us uh, uh, try to dig, uh, cover up our wells, mm -hmm. try to stop your dream, mm -hmm. try, to, try to discourage you or things that happen in the earth and through the situation that people are going through right now. Mm -hmm. The whole goal is the Bible says, Isaac dug again. Yes. Glory to God Amen. that they dug again. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you got to get back in there. Even right now, many of you, mm -hmm. uh, are, uh, and most of us, praise God, right now, we're in our houses right now. And, you know, and they're telling us not to go out right now unless you, you know, have certain situations that you have to, that you have to do. But it's time you can spend this time digging again. Mm -hmm. Spend this time getting new new ideas. Praise Spend God. this time with God and, and read new books and listen to new uh, uh, tapes and, and, and new lessons. Dig again yes. and allow God to speak to you in this current situation. Keep your dream alive. Praise and I God. like what it says in verse number 19. It says, an Isaac's service digged in the valley. The valley. <laughs> the, it, you ain't got to wait till things look good. Amen. You ain't got to wait till things all, all, all begin to turn around. Uh -huh. But right now right in now. the valley, mm -hmm. they dug in the valley uh -huh. and found there, yeah. in that valley, yeah. a well of springing water. Praise oh, God. God. Hallelujah. Right now in your situation, mm -hmm. in your valley right now, mm -hmm. in your home right now, dig because there's a valley in that valley because there's a well mm -hmm. of new life. There's a well of new wisdom. Yes. There's a well of new creativity yes. uh, uh, that that's God is doing in your life. Mm -hmm. And so this thing is not a setback, mm -hmm. but it is God uh, bringing you into a whole new level mm -hmm. that God is doing. Because many people, I, I'll talk to some pastors that have not really, really developed their, 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 their social media. My, my. And they're having to develop it right now because they said, Pastor, I never developed my social media, you know, where I can still uh, you know, bring this word to my church on Sunday mornings. But see, this would be an opportunity for you to develop your social media, yes. not just for gossip. That's but right. there are people right now are becoming multi-millionaires through social media, so not letting it use you, but you using it. Amen. It's, a, it's another, and so this would be a time that you can dig a well. Mm -hmm. You can dig the dirt out of that well. Mm -hmm. You can dig another well. Mm -hmm. There's water if you dig. That's right. There's, Bible says your <laughs> eyes have not seen and your ears have not heard mm -hmm. the things which God has prepared for those that That's love right. Him. Amen. But you got to dig again. Amen. You got to keep your dream alive. That's right. Right in situation right now, and it says they. There, yes. In that valley, yes. they found a well of springing water. Glory Amen. to God. Because, you know, the devil, he always going to want us to not to bring God's word back to him. Yes. Because what he'll do, he'll bring the circumstances. He'll bring things up to you. They say, well, you know, we're just not going to do it. We just, you know, we just didn't have enough. But it says here in the days of Abraham... Abraham had, had had put some things in order mm -hmm. for Isaac to 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 continue to own his legacy. Yes. And so but the, what, what 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 happens is the devil comes in, you know, we get the word of God, you mm -hmm. know, we, we're going and we're doing and we're doing exactly what God has called us. But the devil he comes and try to cover that thing up so that we don't, we can't remember what God's word has said. We can't bring God's word back to him. But he said that the place that that uh, April and he called there the names after the names which by his father called them. Those things that you've heard and that you see before, you see the miracles of, mm -hmm. of God before. You've heard it. You know it works. But the devil will come in and try to cover that thing up. But guess what? A uh, uh, Isaac, Isaac's servants. They found that well. They remember what the man of God said. They remember yes. what Abraham had said, and they went and they dug. You got to get back in there. You got to dig deep, amen. Because yeah. the devil, he just wants to just just to, to discourage us. He wants us to put us back, set us back, and not want for us to have what God says that we can have. So you got to get up, get in there, and then want you keep digging, you keep digging until you hit a gusher. When you hit that gusher, guess what? The, 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 the springs, the water is going to come back up and it's going to refresh your soul. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. That's good. That's good. It's dig good again. Yeah, dig deep. Keep that dream alive. <laughs> yes. To God. Uh, uh, Psalms 37 verse 4. Let's go there. Psalms 37 4 says, Delight thyself also in the Lord. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And, praise God, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. You have to delight. Isn't that beautiful? It has to be a delight when you dig it. Pray to That's God. it. So, so dig with delight. Amen. Yes. Don't dig with sorrow. Don't dig with discouragement. Amen. Don't dig with a defeated mindset. 
But then he said, delight yourself in mm -hmm. God. Take this time. Maximize this moment. Yes. Take this time to delight yourself in God. Get your joy back. Hallelujah. Get your passion back. <laughs> when you delight yourself back again in God, where God's word becomes a, light, a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your Amen. pathway. Where God's word becomes sweeter than honey to your to your mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, delight yourself. He said, and I'll give you the desires of your heart. <laughs> if you would just spend this time Yes. Praise God, not just in depression, All right. not wondering what your future is going to be. He's, God said, I'll give you the desires of your heart. And you said, Dr. Kirk, how can God do that? One touch of his favor. That's it, just one touch. One touch of God's favor. You know, the children of Israel was in Egypt one day, mm -hmm. and, and overnight, Come they on. became millionaires. Amen. Glory to God. God had them to, to borrow from the Egyptians all the gold, and the Bible said, God said, I'm going to give the Egyptians a favor. I'm going to give you favor in the sight of the Egyptians. He said, just request it. And, God, and they requested it, praise God, and the Bible said that the Egyptians gave all the gold. They came out multi-millionaires, so praise about. God, <laughs> overnight. All it takes is one favor of God. Yeah, that's all this thing takes. is a setup, but it's a it's a it's a it's a setback a little bit, but it's a setup for yeah. God to bring you new creativity, yes. for God to bring you new insight, new information. You know what you can like Paul said, forgetting those things that are behind Come me on. and reaching forth unto those things that are before me. Paul said, I'm pressing toward the mark mm -hmm. for the prize. In other words, I'm 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 advancing, I'm using this time to advance, not to sit in discouragement because God is in control. Praise God. And there's nothing. Baba says there is no temptation taking you that what there is coming to man. But with every temptation, trial, and test we go through, God has already ordained a way of escape. <laughs> so God already Amen. knows how this situation, the escape, has already provided for you and I through this situation. Yes, he does. So Amen. we're going to talk about now uh, a man by the name of Caleb. Mm -hmm. And Caleb was a part of the, of the group. Uh, uh, in the book of in, in Exodus, where God has sent the uh, 12 spies. Mm -hmm. He told Moses the 12 spies, and they went out and searched the land. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says that Caleb and Joshua came back and said, we are well able to do this. Come on. But the 10 came back and said, we be not able. My God. So sometimes pe the, the unbelief of people can hold back the blessing of God on your life. Yes. But, but you know what? We're going to read this verse. Caleb did not allow his dream to die. 40 years now have passed in this scripture, but Caleb had kept his dream alive. And he's 85 years old, but he kept his dream alive. God had not forgotten his dream. Yes. And Caleb had not forgot his dream. <laughs> and God, uh, uh, and so Caleb at the age 85 is still left for his dream. So we're going to read Joshua chapter 14, verse number 6, and we're going to read through 13. Okay, my wife is going to read this time. Amen. Joshua 14, 6. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua and Gigal, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenzite, said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses, the man of God, concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barnea. Mm -hmm. Forty years old I was when Moses, Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea, Nia to spy out the land. Mm -hmm. And I brought him word again as it was in my heart. Nevertheless, my brethren, that went up with me made the heart of the people melt. But I wholly followed the Lord my God. And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon the, my, thy feet has trodden shall be thine inheritance and the children's forever, because thou hast wholly followed the the, the Lord my God and now behold the Lord hath kept me alive as he said these forty and five years even since the Lord spake, spake this, to, uh, this word unto Moses while the children of Israel wandered in the, in the wilderness and now lo I am this day fourscore and forty five years old as yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now, for war, both to go out and to come in. Now therefore give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spake in that day, for thou heardest in that day how the Amalekites were there, and that the, and the, that the cities were great and fenced. If so, be the Lord be with me, 
then I will be able to drive them out as the Lord has said. And Joshua blessed him and gave unto Caleb the sons of Jephnu, Hebron for an inheritance. If I'm not pronouncing that word, y'all don't get on me. Amen. <laughs> Praise right. God. Amen. Hallelujah. The whole goal was this. At the age of 85, See? Caleb had not let his dream die. Wow. He was still digging yes. at the age of 85. Uh -huh. Of course, 10 of those spies in the whole congregation of Israel at that time uh -huh. put some dirt on his dream. Mm. And, 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 your family. and so 45 years now, he's now 85 years old, but he's digging again. Come on. He's wow. saying, even though the, 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 the whole congregation was against me and did not believe, <laughs> I kept my dream alive. Okay. Glory to God. Okay. And I'm not going to let my age... That's good. I'm not let circumstances That's stop good. me. He says, so he, then I, I like what he said there in, in verse number 10. He <laughs> says, and, and now, behold, the Lord has kept me alive. Uh -huh. And he says, uh, these 45 years, uh -huh. and he says in verse, let's go down to verse 11, he says, and I am as strong Astro. this day <laughs> as I was in Moses' sin. In other words, I, I kept my dream alive. That's right. And my dream has kept my spirit alive and kept me strong physically. Yes. Because yes. when you lose your dream, you, depression sits in there. Yes. But he says here, as my strength was then, mm. even so it is now, both for war to go in and come out. Verse 12, now give me this mountain. Give it to me. The same <laughs> mountain that I had 45 years ago Amen. that the children of Israel uh, uh, kept me from going in. I, did, I kept my dream alive. Amen. Give me the same mountain. Now this mountain had five giants in. See? I'm sure it would have been a lot easier to have another mountain. But you know, he said, no, I want the same mountain that God told me I could have. I'm not going to settle for mediocrity. I'm not going to settle, settle for something else, or something right. lesser. Uh -huh. This is what God promised me. God is not man; He shall lie. Give me the same mountain, praise God, Amen. that I asked for 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I like what happened in verse 13. And Joshua blessed him and gave him to Caleb, the son of, uh, of Jeff, uh, Jeff, no, now, uh -huh. Hebron, for an inheritance. Yes. God gave him that mountain. That's right. You have an inheritance. So go get your inheritance. Don't go. let nobody steal it. Praise God. That's right. And yeah. he kept his dream alive. Yes, amen. 45, see, so that means no matter what situation you're in right now, mm -hmm. through this little coronavirus, keep your dream alive. Uh, no, matter how, no matter who's put dirt in your dream, uh -huh. keep your dream alive. Amen. I remember a, a, a story that was told about a man that had been cast into a well. And, and, and so the people decided they were going to bury him in this well. But, and so what they kept doing, they kept putting dirt in the well caused it to bury him. But every time what would happen is, every time they would put dirt in that well, he would he would get it, he would shake it off. Shake it off. And when he shook it off, he would step on that dirt. Yeah. They put some more dirt on him. He would shake, shake it, it off, off and step on the dirt. <laughs> and he and, and they kept and so all of a sudden and pretty soon they, they saw his head. So how is he doing this? We're burying him with all this dirt. And then pretty soon he came up out of that well. They said, How in the world we we our, our goal was to bury you with this dirt. He, how did you come out? He said, what happened was, every time you threw dirt in my, on me, I shook it off, and I used what you, what you, the dirt you put on me to set me up to another level. And so what you meant to bury me has really brought me out of my situation. Praise God. So I'm saying, that's right, brought me on top. And so what God is saying now, keep on just shake this Amen. thing off. Shake off the discouragement. Shake off the, the, the despondency. Shake off the depression. Shake it off. And you, God's going to use this. If God be for us, he is more than the world against us. Amen. So it's time, in, in 2 Timothy mm -hmm. chapter 1, verse 7, we're talking about keeping your dream alive. Mm -hmm. Stirring this gift back up again. Amen. So let's read 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6. Amen. So you need to go after what God has placed in your heart. Yes. Don't let the enemy or anybody else steal what God has put in your heart. You know, we go around, you know, and, and we hear about everybody else's vision, everybody else's dream. But what about your dream? They might right. not care about you, yeah. but what did God told, told you to do? Amen. So keep your dream alive. Praise God. In 2 Timothy 1, 6, it says, Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting forth of my hands. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, 
but of power and of love and of a sound mind. That's Hallelujah. right. Stir that dream back Stir up again. Up. <laughs> Jeremiah said his word was in me like fire set up in my Ooh, bones. Glory. Man, let that let that dream that's in you get the passion back. Stir yes. it back up again, praise God, because it's in you and yes. God had forgot about your dream. Mm -hmm. And guess what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. God's going to make up for everything that you that, that is lost right now through the situation everything. that you're going through. God's going to restore it all. Let's notice the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 25. Joel 2.25. And I will restore you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palm worm, palm worm, with palm worm, my great army which I set among you. So what God is saying, uh -huh. everything that it seems like you're losing during this time. Yeah. The, through dirt and through situations and obstacles that you're going through in your life, through maybe job layoffs and things like that, which we all are, man, we, we all have to trust God during this time. Amen. But God says, look, everything that's that's being taken from you, everything, everything that you're lacking right now, God says, I'm going to restore not just the day, but the years mm. which the locusts have eaten up. The things that situations, the circumstances eating up in your life, God says, I'm going to restore it all. Yeah. So don't don't look at things as a loss. God says, I'm, I, I got my eyes on you. Yes. I got my eyes on you, and I'm going to restore everything that, that seems to be lost during this time. All right. Amen. Uh, so be, turn, be determined. Break out of the mold of yeah. depression. In spite of what you're going through, mm -hmm. God is going to still get you to your destiny. Yes, he Romans will. chapter 8, verse 31. Read that, Dr. Beth. Romans 8, 31. What shall we say then to these things? Mm -hmm. If God be for us, who can be against us? Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. More. That's right. So what should we say to these things? <laughs> what should we say to this coronavirus situation where people are getting laid off from work? What should we say from these things that, we, you know, uh, uh, you know, that we're not knowing what, uh, what tomorrow is going to bring because we're waiting on some things to happen, whether the president or the senators or the, or the, or the yes. House of Representatives? You know, what should we say to all the things that's going on Amen. in the world right now when people are uh, feuding over, one of, over political issues? Mm -hmm. What shall we say to these things? Come on. What are we going to say? If God be for us. If. And, and he know. is for us. Yes, he because is. he said, I will never leave you and I'll forsake you. He said, so if God be for us, who then can be who? against us? Praise now, God. we know that Satan will put obstacles, situations, mm -hmm. in your life. Uh -huh. But Satan cannot stop you. Amen. That's right. uh, many times he may put hindrances there, but he cannot stop you because God is for you. The Bible says you are more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ who love you. Amen. Thanks be unto God which giveth us the victory. Yes. Amen. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil. Why? Amen. Because we know God is with us. Amen. His rod and his staff comforts us. Amen. And he anoints our head with oil, causes our cup to run over. Yes. And he prepares a table before us. In the very presence of our enemies, Hallelujah. right now in the presence of this, when we put God first in our life and we and we take this time to light us up in God, we will find that God, in the midst of this enemy mm -hmm. situation, got a table, a table of uh, of sustenance prepared before us, Amen. because He is our shepherd, Amen. and He said, "Because I'm your shepherd." I, you shall Shut not up. want for Amen. anything. Amen. <laughs> my God shall supply your needs. You said, but how, Dr. Craig, uh, right now I've been let off my job. That's what I'm saying. Don't let your job be your source. Amen. God can give you one idea. Maybe God will use this to get you in the business. You, you never know what God's got planned. That's the right. whole goal is keep God as your source. Because if you keep God as your source, He has said, mm -hmm. I will never leave you nor forsake you. He has said, I will supply all your needs. He has said, though you go through the fire, you will not be burned. Though you go through the waters, you will not be overflowed. He has said, I'm not a man that I should lie. So we don't know how God's going to do it, but we trust him Amen. with all of our heart. Amen. And we lean not to all understanding, mm -hmm. but in all our ways, we acknowledge him and he directs our path. So in Romans 8, 37 says, nay, but in all, all these, things, these things, we are more than conquerors Amen. through him that loved us. Praise the Lord. Keep your dream alive. Amen. Well, this has been a great blessing.
I've been with you today. Again, thank God for my covenant partner, Dr. Bell, being with me today. I'm so excited. So uh, excuse our beginning because we we're trying to get this uh, this camera adjusted so that both of us look good on here. So but we're going we're gonna to get it together, praise God. Hallelujah. And uh, but we love you so much. We're praying for you. We're praying for God's very best for your Amen. life, for your family. We're praying for your safety and for your health along with you. So, Father, we thank you today thank for this you, day. Father. I pray for every person, Lord, that's listening uh, through this meaning of Facebook and also YouTube, God, and I bless them, Father. We, we speak of a, a level of protection of their lives, yes, and we thank you, God, for meeting their every need, every need. according to your riches and glory Amen. by Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, Jesus name. amen. Well, God amen. bless you. God bless. We've enjoyed being with you today. We'll be back with you again tomorrow at 730. Like this and also share with your friends. And amen. until tomorrow at this very same time, this is Apostle Alfred Craig. And Dr. Bev. Saying, may God's riches <laughs> and his very and best, his best be yours. Amen. And Have just remember day. that you are made in the image and in the likeness of God. Whatever God put his stamp of approval on, you can do it. Amen. So remember that you are made in his image.